Hey besties, hello, bonjour, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girly pop, St. Harper. To my handy dandy book, it looks like we need to talk about winter trends. Finally, the weather is starting to actually get literally cold outside and yes, it's freezing outside. And I thought that it was gonna be kind of warm because sometimes it's super like cold in the morning and then the rest of the day it is frigid. So I was like, well, maybe it'll be, I, I couldn't figure out what the weather was gonna be today. And it was extremely cold. So it definitely got me in the mood for winter and just really getting excited about the outfits to wear and what I can pull out of my wardrobe. And it just like made me get so inspired. So I was like, well, I'm sure you guys probably wanna know what to wear this winter 2024 and I'm here to help you out. So let's go ahead and get right into it. No more wasting. So like I said, these are trends for 2024 into 2025. Starting off with one of my favorite trends and this is thin scarves. Believe it or not, hey, thin scarves are becoming a thing. It's becoming a trend and everyone soon will be styling their thin scarves so many different ways. Honestly, I personally love a thin scarf. One, because I feel like it's easy to wear. You can put it on and you can actually move your neck around. Whereas with thick scarves, as you know, it can just be pretty bulky and difficult to style. And it's just not comfortable. Let's just Let's, let's talk about how it's, it's just not, it's, it's not comfortable. Yeah, it'll keep you warm, but it's not comfortable. This scarf, I feel like it's comfortable. It can keep you warm depending on the thickness of the thin scarf. I personally love a thin scarf because it is stylish. You can stylize it so many different ways. It's versatile. You can wear it one way, you can wear it another way. And it's just really cool. They come in different colors, different styles. You really can fully enjoy that trend and really put it to use. Now this is bringing me into my next favorite trend. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the next trend is ribbons and bows. Who would have guessed it? Not me. Okay. Hey, ribbons and bows are coming back. We all know that they were something in the spring and summer, but they are back forever now. And they are going to be something really, really trendy this winter, actually fall and winter. It's not just winter, fall and winter, because I see people wearing ribbons and bows a lot now. So I'm gonna say it's like a trend that's for both seasons. And I absolutely love it. I personally have a lot of bows. I have bow sweaters. I have bow anything you can think of. I have it. And honestly, there's a lot of places that are selling sweaters, hats. Like, I think I saw a pair of pants from some place that had ribbons and bows on it. And it was just really, really cool, obviously. There are bow and ribbon socks. You cannot go wrong with a cute little pair of socks. It's so easy, it's so stylish. And yeah, there's just so many different ways of styling ribbons, bows. And if you can't put it together, there's literal outfits that are already put together that have these trends in them. So yeah, I'm here for it. I love it personally. That is something that I will be taking part in and I have a lot of that in my wardrobe and I'm ready to finally put it back to use. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Double pants. I know like when you hear double pants you're probably thinking oh it's two pairs of pants in one. I thought the same thing when I heard it. I was like double du double pants like how is that how is that wearable how is that comfortable and how are you gonna be able to style that i i mean it's just it's just pretty weird but it actually is one pair of pants with the lining of a second pair to create this double pants effect and a lot of people are taking part in this 
and when I saw it at first I thought it was kind of weird but it kind of grew on me and I remembered that I know people are saying it's like a trend now but I feel like I've seen it before and I feel like I've personally styled something like that a long time ago so I'm excited for this trend I think it's something that's pretty different is something that if it was a trend from back in the day it is coming back and people love Y2K and I know I am a fan of Y2K so I personally am definitely going to enjoy this trend and have fun styling it different ways and just seeing the different types of double pants I'm like shocked I'm surprised with how many ways you can stylize the double pants effect so I'm taking part in this trend I love this. I can't wait to actually get a pair of the double pants. I know it kind of sounds weird saying it, but I can't wait to get a pair of it and actually stylize it for myself. Tell me if you guys want to see a video on that, or I actually might make myself a pair because if you look back there, I have my own sewing machine and I need to put that to you. So yeah, so I'm excited for that. Let's go ahead and get into the next trend so lucky as you guys know i do thrifting videos i actually came across some biker boots and if you guys have been keeping up with my last videos all i've been talking about were moto boots and actually the moto boots are the steve madden moto boots just to be exact but these biker boots are so cute and that is going to be such a big trend so anything within the biker boot look Western boots, all that is going to be a trend. And I actually was so happy that I went thrifting and I actually found a pair of Steve Madden boots. It's not exactly the moto boots I usually talk about, but it is a pair that's pretty similar. And I'm so happy I hit the jackpot with that. I just was like, I wish you guys have, I wish you guys had like seen me in the thrift store i was jumping up and down i almost had like a full-on like happy panic attack like it was just so surreal to me that i even came across that like usually you would think people are like holding on to that type of stuff but i was lucky and i'm so happy so yeah biker boots is going to be big this season and everyone's going to be stylizing it stylizing their biker boots so many different ways and i'm going to put right here you guys know i always put pictures of different types of biker boots ways to stylize it and there's just so there's just so much like trends and styles and just so many new uh, unique pieces that people are going to be styling this fall and winter i just can't wait to get into that so yeah i'm just so happy about that let's go ahead and get into the next trend trend is studded items i did not talk about that in my last video but that's why i'm bringing it up in this one studded belts okay let me say it again studded belts are going to be big okay everybody is going to be rocking a studded belt so if you're into grunge if you're into like unique type of edgy vibes like you're gonna love this and even if you're not if you're into the y2k or just want to sort of challenge yourself to try new styles i definitely recommend trying a studded belt because it will literally make your look look so fire and so cute i cannot like stress about how much i like trying to find the right studded belt like I, I i i'm here for it i love the trend you can stylize it so many different ways and it's just something i feel like is coming back it's y2k i mean come on we all love a good y2k moment so that now brings me into my next trend so let's go ahead and get right into it so what's next up are french pins and i just wanted to clarify French pins are these pins that you put in your hair that makes it really stylish. Even though it's going to be really, really cold out, surprisingly, people are still doing French pins and it's going to still be a trend and people are still going to be wearing it. So, hey, I just want to bring it up in case you are a hair girly and you want to try something different. French pins are in it. I've seen them everywhere, all over my Pinterest. And as you guys know, I love Pinterest, so I'm always stalking Pinterest. And I found that I was like, let me let me let the girlies know. So yeah, that's gonna be a trend. 
And now let's actually get into the one that I wanted to talk about. So the next thing that's up are slouchy boots. I am so excited for this trend because in the beginning when it was like kind of a thing, I don't remember when it was a thing at one point, I did not like them. And somehow over the years, they have grew on me and I cannot wait to actually buy a pair and stylize it. I mean, they come in different colors, different looks, different patterns. I mean, you guys know animal print, I'm rocking it right now. Animal print is the big thing. And you're going to see tons of that in these slouchy boots. You're going to see a lot of suede slouchy boots, studded slouchy boots. I mean, slouchy boot anything. I love them now. It's It kind of grew on me. So I'm like super excited to try it out, experiment with it, see what I come up with. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the next trend. This is exciting. Okay, the chunky knit sweaters are coming out to play and they are staying, okay? I love a chunky knit sweater. One, because it's just, it's a knit sweater. It's, it's just, it's always gonna be cute and it comes in different colors. I just, I love the feeling of it. Like, it's like, you're walking around with a blanket, okay? And that's what I love, love, love. I love to be comfortable, cozy, comfy, and still look really stylish and cute at my own leisure. And I feel like that gives you the comfort of being warm, yet still super stylish and cute this winter. So definitely, I love, 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 and I can't wait to get into the knit sweaters and explore that and just kind of see like what I can put together with a slouchy sweater and just stylize that to my own. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the next trend. For the last trend is suede. As you guys know, it's going to be suede jackets, suede boots, suede bags. You think it, you name it, you have it. Anything suede is going to be a thing. Let me say it one more time. Anything suede is going to be a trend. So if you have suede in your closet, like a suede purse that you've been dying to wear and been waiting, maybe you had it the last season and you didn't get a chance to bring it out and stylize it and play with it, and just sort of like experiment with different outfits, I say go ahead, girly, take that out your wardrobe and stylize it because there are people who are pushing people down for a suede bag. And if you have that, you are so lucky and I'm so happy you have it because this is the time to pull that out. Try it out, stylize it, have fun. Don't be too shy of trying you know, to stylize it because there's so many ways you can stylize it. So don't be scared that just because it's not an exact trend that is like trending in terms of maybe it's like suede boots and you have a suede bag, you can still stylize either one that you have and make it work for you and still be in trend. So yeah, besties, we are now at the end of this video. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Make sure you give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bio and make sure you guys support me and just, you know, just let me know what you think, what you're interested in, and tell me in the comments what trend you're excited about this fall and winter and what videos you want to see from me next. Let me know because I'm always checking and I absolutely love you besties. Thank you for watching. Bye.